The Minecraft version of YouTube. Carl Jacobs is a well-known figure on YouTube who, in addition to making contributions to the channel that is managed by Mr. Beast, also manages a channel of his very own. He has enlisted the help of Linus Tech Tips in order to set together his brand new gaming machine. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about Minecraft $100,000 PC constructed. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Jacobs gave Linus and his team 100,000 money so that they could build a crazy personal computer, which is not something that Linus's team is unfamiliar with. Linus's team is not unfamiliar with the concept of a personal computer. The proprietor of a YouTube channel that has somewhere in the neighborhood of 4 million subscribers is a person by the name of Carl Jacobs. On it, he plays mostly exclusively Minecraft, but while he is doing so, he is sticking to a variety of regulations and attempting to accomplish a number of tasks. After at first acquiring prominence as a result of his partnership with Mr. Beast, he eventually developed his own following by utilizing similarly expensive techniques as an incentive for people to watch his videos. This allowed him to finally create his own audience. This luxurious personal computer, PC, features a common LTT trademark known as the All-in-One Desk PC. The All-in-One Desk PC was designed specifically for LTT. Everything that the computer requires, including the cooling system, the graphics card, the inputs and outputs of the connections, and so on, is integrated directly into the desktop itself. Linus and his co-workers make the point that developing a gaming machine that is capable of meeting the requirements of a budget of $100,000 is not an easy assignment. In a previous video, they tested connected quadro cards for gaming purposes and discovered that the gaming performance on these non-GeForce cards is very low. The conclusion drawn from those tests was that connected quadro cards are not suitable for gaming. The testing that they did on these cards led them to this conclusion. Instead, it seems as though the construction is nothing more than an attempt to cram as many consumer pieces as possible into the available area. The video goes into depth about how they managed to build up a price that actually went over the prepaid sum of $100,000 that Jacobs had provided them with. The key components only cost $5,000, and the movie goes into detail on how they managed to do it. This required cutting a unique piece of metal for the chassis and equipping Jacobs with high-end production equipment. This was done so that Jacobs could have the finest experience possible playing Minecraft in all aspects. The most amazing aspect of it 